Hey, what's up you guys? This is Junior Creator and in this video, let's take a look at semiconductors that is AMD, SMCI, ARM, Broadcom and Micron. As for NVIDIA, I already did a video on that over this week and check those out on my channel. One is I'm talking about a zone that you need to stay focused on and then also the options analysis, the mind blowing call sitting at one of the levels. You don't want to miss those out. Check these videos out and by the time you will check out this video that you are watching right now, there will be Tesla and Tech Stocks videos as well out here. So check those out as well if you are interested. All right. So with that, let's begin. And before that, I also want to let you know, none of this is any financial advice and is only for education purposes. Now, there is two days ago a news as well, Intel strikes back. It has a great chip for the first time in years. So, signs of life. For most of semiconductor history, Intel reigned as the chip king. All right, blah, blah, blah. On the server side, Intel's latest Xeon processors now appear to be market leading for the first time this decade. Today marks the first time in about 86 months that Intel has a leadership server. Times 86 C x86 CPU again. And let's see if Intel price is really affected by that, right? So let's go to Intel because it really doesn't matter all that news if you know we are not seeing something in the price. Well, technically it's a little bit rebounding, trying to go up, but it still remains though in the overall downturn. Some levels are not showing up here because I haven't adjusted my, my tool timeline based off of that. But if you have access to my tools, you can adjust it. So, sorry, I, yeah, we are going a little bit <laughs> distracted, but here we're still in the downturn though, guys. Uh, this is actually testing the bottom now of the previous bottom. So let's see if it can do anything again here. Wow. All right, let's even, let's just talk about Intel real quick. And if it does a pullback here, you can watch these levels like 222 and 55 cents and 21 and 84 cents for any potential uptrend continuation. So, uh, but yeah, so if any uptrend has to become, it has to take out this level 24 and 61. If it rejects here now, you are watching if this zone holds a pivot and if it holds, that is $22 and 55 cents area, then it has a likelihood of continuing higher, but yeah. So let's see if it just breaks up here from here. But yeah, it looks like it wanna continue in some of these upsides. Overall structure though is in the downtrend. I will just still take it uptrend as a rebound in the overall structure. We'll see what it eventually does though. Anyways, sorry, didn't mean to talk Intel, but hey, what's the harm, right? So let's go back to the AMD. And I'm just gonna adjust, uh, yeah, levels are fine. I just going to adjust the time, but yeah, that's fine. Okay, AMD. So. Here we are uh, still, well, above 200 days moving average and AMD does, does, it is, it is, it does stays in the bullish structure. And we can see on the my tool as well, we are in the bullish structure here. Even if it, again, like guys, I, I, I would just suggest, you know, look for the, up, uh, even on intraday, look for the upside plays as long as we are above 200 days moving average. There's a lot of room through even the pullbacks it may stay in the bullish structure, but if you have a swing position, take some partial profits as well in the extensions, right? And intraday levels to watch from here on get, is the cool off likely. Well, because we have been going up, right? So, well, looks like it from last two days, it has rejected one of the you know levels there or the highs there. At this point, um, you are I, I, as I'm saying, just watch for the upside. So, 162 and 52 cents, you can watch if this level is going to hold. Um, and then, but you eventually want to see it above 20 hours moving average at least before any of this level holds and you play to the upside. If we lose the 162 and 50 cents, the thing is that where is 200 days moving average is right around the corner. So, I really don't want to trade it short. I would just more look like at these levels to try to play up. So if we lose 200 days moving average, more cool off is possible to catch up to 20 days moving average. Otherwise, no, AMD is still just fine. SMCI. So, you know, US justice is coming for SMCI and this thing has, you know, broken the structure and um, it's in the downtrend now since it broke the structure there. This last day, the, the way it rebounded, that was just an 
uh, a rebound, nothing more than that. If it has to go a little bit strong, bullish, it has to get above 435 and 50 cents. That's all I have to say on this thing. We don't need this red line anymore. I'll just get rid of that. Yeah. Otherwise, no, that remains the level of still the rejection, 435 and 50 cents. Anyways, either direction, whichever play you take, have a stop loss. Arm, uh, technically in the bullish structure, though it's doing some cool off, okay, it is doing some cool off. Uh, let's take a look at hourly interval first. So, okay, um, let's put this trend line first in perspective. All right, and you have this level 147 and 37 cents. There are two type of plays that can be taken on this if you are looking for uptrend. If this level holds 145 and we go to the upside, first level would only be 147 38 cents, nothing above this. If we if we break out above this level as well, we need to break out above this lower trend line as well. If we do both of this. You can play the next level up to the upside otherwise no this trend line still may then become right now a intraday rejection and then we'll see how 200 hours moving average with the price action there overall structure remains bullish but intraday more strength in the uptrend would only come once we get out of this lower pivots trend line and more specifically without breaking further below if we get about 147 and 41 cents all right that's our broadcom so Broadcom cooling off, I think we had a red candle on this, right? The last trading there was a red, yeah. Structure is looking a little bit weaker. Let's see if it catches up. Again, this will be just a cool off though, guys. We are above 20 days moving average. It's not that now it's time to just short it all the way to $100. It's not that type of play. Intraday cool offs are sure that can come. So let's go to the hourly interval. And that blue box up there that I provided you still remains the blue box to watch. As long as we are below it, we are just in the downtrend. All right, intraday at least. Now, uh, if it wants to turn again back to the upside, it has to show us some consolidation above 200 hours moving average and form a higher pivot or take out the previous pivot. In this case, it would be at least 174 and 14 cents and then getting about 20 hours moving average can give this back up to 175 and 50 cents and above this definitely it can open up again uh, to the upside all right otherwise no we uh, if we continue to cool off the next level you are watching is 200 hours moving average you also the thing is that on this the trend line is quite steep on well when i say quite steep i mean it's not gen it's not a trend line that really would come into play for you this is just too steep it's just the thing is that the reason I'm not giving you this trend line is because it's more or less be will become a bull flag. This trend line is not a trend line to play as for the breakout. It, this may take even a while, right? So let's actually put this in perspective. So this is your stuff. So this is more going to be a bull flag. So I, the reason I'm not providing a trend because, oh sorry, the line above here because it won't be that it becomes your breakout play. That will take a long time to get to that. It, this may become your, if this trend line continues to hold, this can give it a rebound, but then just keep watching these upside areas of resistance, right, with this trend line as well. So uh, just that, so this is technically more or less still a, like a bull flag that I would like to keep it as long as we are above 200 hours moving average. But, uh, but yes, looks like it does want to a little bit cool off for a couple of days now. Micron. So, well, okay, so what I'm saying is that it want to cool off on the overall structure, but intraday rebounds level that I gave you with those trend lines are possible, but those will just be a rebound. Technically, we need to see some higher pivots form or take out the previous pivots to also become on intraday uh, that, you know, full, full on bullish. That's what I mean to say. Micron. So with Micron, guys, we gapped up, right? Great stuff, it's cooling off. The thing to, again, I'm not, it's not like, well, sure, you, you can do whatever you want, but what I'm saying is that watch 200 days moving average. If we lose this, then you are watching 50 days moving average on the daily interval for the price to show any support. On the hourly interval, here's the thing. Now this area of 105 and 74 cents is pretty much where 200 days moving averages and also will be where 50 days moving average would be. 
So this is a very important zone that can give some bounce. Watch this level very carefully. This is the level. We, if we hold it, this is still just an upside play from here on. All right. So Micron changed its structure after earnings, and we have to see where it will start respecting this zone, right? So that's that. And that's pretty much it for this video, guys. And if you found it helpful, valuable, please hit the like, subscribe. If you need access to my tools, links are in the description below. And with that, I'll see my next videos. Bye.